Good afternoon, Pokey Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 6 video, bringing you a team revolved around Delmize. Now, Delmize is no surprise, is one of the best grass type Pokemon or like one of the best trick room sweepers in the game in general right now especially now with the removal of Rollaboom it does give Delmize a, sh a spot to shine in series 6 weakness policy on this thing is busted and especially when you proc it with not Arcanine not Primarina Dusclops Dusclops with Shadow Sneak is one of the best ways to proc your own weakness policy it does kind of fail to redirection but thankfully there aren't that many redirections in series 6 so that won't be too big of a problem also Completely forgot to shout out who this team is for. Mr. Nelio on Patreon, thank you so much for your patronage and requesting Delmize because I was meaning to try one and I just haven't had the opportunity yet. But I'm glad that I did get to try one now here on the channel. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like a half trick room team, half uh, half just standard team. I'll show you the rest of the team in a second. We have Arcanine just because Arcanine's annoying and can set up some snarls and set up some intimidates. We have the Primarina to function inside of trick room. It's one of the best trick room sweepers, especially with water. Uh, it's not the slowest thing in the world, so it can function outside of Trick Room as well, but it's also not the fastest thing in the world, so Trick Room is a nice home for it. I'm going to move on to the Clefable. We have Clefable, because I wanted redirection for my Dusclops. Uh, Clefairy is almost always a better choice in comparison to Clefable, but we we had the Eviolite on Dusclops, right? We couldn't have Eviolite on two, and I think I'd rather just have safety goggles on Clefable and just have a redirection to just avoid spores as much as possible. I mean, my other option was like Focus Sash on my Clefairy. Nah, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Moving on with the rest of the team, we have the Porygon Z just because it does pair well with Clefable. And I'm also running a fun item here. Um, I'm running Choppleberry. I'm a very big proponent of... Choice Banded Urshifu with Fake Out just to Oko Porygon Z. And I think it's about time I start to counter my own strategy and bring the Choppleberry. Choppleberry makes it a two hit KO and it still leaves you with around like 40 ish HP, which is more than doable for Porygon Z. So Choppleberry, and then you could just max strike to Oko, whatever is on the other side of the field, followed by, you know, just getting that speed drop on the adjacent Mon and then just being able to sweep from there. That's my idea behind it. Porygon Z is so broken with adaptability that, to be honest, does it really, really, really need a life orb? That's my thought process. Anyway, that's the team. Hope you guys do enjoy this team. If you do, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's do a comment question of the day. You know, usually you'd prepare yourselves for this. What are your thoughts? Okay, there's controversy, right? Um... For the Players Cup 2 qualifiers, there was controversy whether it was going to be Series 6 or Series 5. It's just been confirmed that it's going to be Series 5. What are your thoughts on this? Me and Mike are going to be talking about this on the podcast recording this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. But we we, we kind of want... I, I, kind, I kind of want your thoughts on this. Do you think that you prefer it being series five do you think this is a step backwards do you think that series six is a joke they did not really taking it seriously there's a lot of mixed opinions online and uh, i'm gonna wait to share my opinion for this podcast on sunday but i would love to hear your opinions maybe it'll help develop my opinion a little bit further but yeah that's that anyway battle time that sure is a lot of water types for the first game of the day four water types on this team okay Delmize loves this, right? Delmize is absolutely where it wants to be, and it's definitely going to come to this battle. But we do have to find a way of dealing with all these fast Pokemon, along with these, like, that slow Gastrodon. I think our best bet is probably to set up Trick Room here, right? We should do a simple Dust Clops. Not really anything on this team gets Taunt except for the Umbreon. I guess we should be a little bit concerned for it. So let's bring the Clefable anyway. We'll do Dust Clops, Clefable, bring the Delmize in the back. What else can we do here, folks? Um, Primarina is a thought. It's not my first thought because Toxtricity is a thing. But it's a thought. It does resist pretty much everything on his team and also does give me the fairy typing for that King Dress. So I think I'm going to bring it anyway. I also do have an extra energy ball for the Gastron as well if that if it, if it comes to that. So we'll do it. We'll, we'll figure it out. Hayate. Hiya, Hayate. How are you? The best thing for me would just be obviously to set up this Delmize and really get this Delmize to showcase here. The once cowardly. Okay, just goes for standard rain lead. This is fine. 
Because we can go for a standard Trick Room lead. And he can't really prevent us, right? There's no opposing Trick Room here. There's no Imprisoned Shenanigan. It's a simple turn for us. Choice Scarf and Life Orbs. This is Choice Scarf Pelipper? Different. Well, you're going to hate this Trick Room. And then follow me. Keep it as simple as possible. If you get the K on the Clefable, so be it. Like, I don't mind. I get a free switch into my Delmize if that's the case. And that's the one good thing about Clefable over Clefairy is that it is less tanky. So, if I get that easy Oko off and I can get the hard switch into, you know, something more Trick Room-esque, that's pretty good. Anyway... Hurricane's gonna come out. Double Hurricane. All right, so I will not be going down here. But uh, I do get confused. That's interesting. Dave, maybe they were predicting the switch. Just to switch out into the Delmize. I mean, I don't honestly mind taking another turn. He's now locked onto Hurricane, though, so that's something to keep in mind. I think I just double into this Kingdra. Hopefully knock it out. And then hopefully my Clefable gets knocked out this turn as well. Double Hurricane lead, dude. That's the strat. Just go for nothing but confusion. Hard switches the King Drought. Probably expected an incoming Moonblast. That's fine. Switches into the Toxtricity. I mean, the Nightshade's still gonna do some nice damage. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Can we break through, folks? Yeah, okay, cool. If we're lucky, we get special attack drop. If not, okay. No, no luck today. Followed by Hurricane onto the Clefable. This is fine. This is ideal. Like, I don't mind this in the slightest. But here's my next question. Yeah, I think we go to Ultimize. I was going to say, do we attack the... The Toxtricity or do we attack the Pelipper that's firing off Hurricanes? I think I just answered my own question. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak and Dynamax Max... Power Whip? Over Overgrowth should still KO at this range. And I think his whole team is weak to grass anyway, so this works. We're going to see a big anchor here, folks. We're going to pull the Dynamax trigger first, which means we do have to play around their Dynamax. I don't usually like to pull the Dynamax trigger early on, but I think this is a pretty good opportunity too, right? We get, we get to see a big old weakness policy plus two anchor? Yes, please. My opponent has nothing but water types? Double yes, please. This is like the ideal scenario for, for Delmize right now. It makes me happy that Delmize actually gets love because it got no love last generation. We're going to Shadow Seek ourselves. That's actually going to do a little bit more damage. I, I couldn't decide whether I wanted, you know, 31 IV Dust Clops or 0 IV Dust Clops on attack. Just because you might want to go for Shadow Sneak in actual game scenarios. Like not just a self proc weakness policy. But anyway, we're going to go and straight Oko the Choice Scarf Pelipper and just completely avoid. What's nice about this is that he can go for Sludge Bomb here, but we are neutral to it because ghosts cannot be poisoned. They're already dead. Goes for the Snarl instead. Well, that doesn't lower my stats. I'm down. I don't mind. You can keep doing that, man. I'm a physical attacker. I don't mind your Snarls. I mean, it does do a little bit of extra damage, which does eventually rack up with the Punk Rock ability, but... I'd rather that than a Sludge Bomb, I think. I think Sludge Bomb would do more. Anyway, hello, Kingdra. Considering the fact that Kingdra swapped out last time it was on the field in an unfavorable matchup, I do think it does not have Protect. Or if it does have Protect, we're about to try to go through it here. Yeah, let's, let's just go for the... Overgrowth. We are not going to think too hard about this battle. We have the the we have the, the board advantage. When you have the board advantage, don't try to make crazy predictions. It's never worth it, usually. Your opponent should be trying to predict in you. You shouldn't be trying to predict your opponent. Because regardless of what my opponent decides to do, I still have a plus two Delmize in grassy terrain against the Kingdra on the field. Even if he Dynamaxes. Okay, he goes for the Protect. That's fine. I don't mind. It's still free damage. Like, I, I can never complain about free damage. The Nightshade is actually going to be... Uh, I, I want to say it was going to be a one more hit KO, but I doubt it with a Grassy Terrain healing. 
And what this does is it, it also deters him from wanting to Dynamax, right? Like, you don't want to Dynamax a Pokemon when it has no HP. And we get one more turn off. Yeah, we don't. We totally don't KO with Nightshade now. We might KO Kingdra with Nightshade. Uh, nah, not really. Anyway, I'm fine with just going for Nightshade anyway, and just going for another Overgrowth. I'm really curious why my opponent just has not decided to Dynamax yet. Go for the double protect and not gonna get it. Oh, that's sad. He just trying. Oh, she's trying to stall at the Trick Room. That's fair. Yeah, Trick Room is oppressive, guys. <laughs> Especially when you have no straight counter to it. I mean, maybe she had the taunt on the Umbreon, but even then, that's not enough with the Follow Me Pokemon on the team. Follow Me Trick Room is just so oppressive. Finally, he's gonna go for the Sludge Wave. It's actually not gonna do too bad, too much. Toxtricity, you're disappointing me. Like, I'm always a big proponent on Toxtricity is one of the best Pokemon in the game. Everyone should have one on their team. It's so much fun. And then you have this Toxtricity that's like not doing anything to a grass type right now. <laughs> Twisted Dimensions do return to normal. It's a little bit unfortunate, but we can probably set them back up because almost no damage was done to my... Oh. And now you bring out the only Pokemon I can outspeed outside of Trick Room. Sounds good to me. But anyway, I think our best play is probably just set it back up. Or we just Nightshade. I'm gonna Nightshade Protect. I'm just gonna get rid of Toxtricity. We can deal with Gastrodon on our own later on. I mean, worst case scenario, we don't even have to set up Trick Room because we have the Primarina in the back with Energy Ball. And we're sitting in grassy terrain. Yeah, this was a good W, thankfully. So I was very nervous in this matchup because I like I always get nervous when I try new Pokemon. Uh because I, I legitimately don't know their limits. Like I don't know what, what Delmice can take. I don't know what attacks it can live, what attacks it can Oko with. I know nothing about this Pokemon. Um so I always get nervous when I get into to Battle Stadium because it's just like, uh will this KO? Will this not KO? Look, like, I didn't even know its base speed a second ago. <laughs> but anyway, my opponent is actually gonna Dynamax here. Be the Gastrodon. Easy. Okay, that's perfect. This is perfect because we're gonna ideally Oko this Toxtricity and that'll be a 2v1. Which is totally doable. Goes for the Snarl. Oh, show me the Max Hail Storm. That'd be nice. Into the Delmise. Hopefully not a double into the dust clops. That would be a little bit bad. Quake? Yeah, it's into dust clops, isn't it? Into Delmise! I no No idea why. I mean I guess it doesn't have anything else, right? Well, there goes toxicity. I'm okay with this. Um, if this is min speed gastro, we outspeed right now because gastro is base 39. See, I know that off the top of my head because I've used gastro so many times. Uh, gastro is base 39, and we are base. What are we? 40. So, if this is min speed gastro, we outspeed. If this is 31 IV gastro, we underspeed. There's only one way to find out. Regardless of what happens, we have the primarina. Okay, so he outspeeds. That's good to know. So we should be setting up Trick Room here if this doesn't KO us. He had Sludge Bomb that whole time, by the way. Interesting. Now let's see how much a Power Whip at plus two does. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. No Rindo Berry. I was, I was worried about the Rindo, but no Rindo Berry attacked. And we're going to be taking home our first W. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's what I like to see. This man is called Bean. <laughs> um, bringing Flygon, bringing Scizor, bringing Coma. Oh, bringing some fun mons here. I'm a little bit worried about that Gothitelle. Gothitelle is going to make my uh, my whole Trick Room swapping idea a little bit null and void. I don't like that, but we can play around it. What does my opponent lead with here? Is this like a Choice Scarf Bulldoze Flygon? 
That only end up helping us, so. Not sure I mind that too much. Anyway, this might be this might be an Arcanine game, to be honest, because that's Scizor. Let's not lead with it though. There's no reason to lead with it. We can do Dusclops, we can do Oh wait, they have Imprisoned Trick removed off the tail. That's right. That's gonna be irritating. Can we one-shot the Gothitelle? Let's do... Let's go this route then. Let's go Clefable PZ. Arcanine and Prim. We'll go the complete opposite. We did Trick Room last time. It's time to showcase the other half of this team. We'll see how that goes. And hopefully does something. Against Bean. <laughs> bean. Why is Bean such a funny word? It's like the best word in the dictionary. Why are you wearing green shoes? Alright, it's good that we didn't go with the Trick Room option because they did leave with the Gothitelle, right? So you can impress a Trick Room that, you can do a lot of things that I don't want it to do against that lead. Other issue is, I doubt we could switch out here because of Shadow Tag. Yeah, we can't. Um, alright, that's good to check if it is Shadow Tag. Or if it is competitive, just so you don't accidentally raise its stats. Um, but anyway, we are in a bit of a pickle with this Scizor, so I guess I'm just gonna Helping Hand boost and Dynamax and Max Strike the Gothitelle. We'll get rid of a Gothitelle so we can finally switch out here. We might lose a... We might lose a Clefable in the process, but that's a, that's a noble sacrifice right there. It's a noble sacrifice. Thankfully, my opponent doesn't have a lot of oppress uh, uh, oppressive pressure on the field, so we should be fine. I hope. <laughs> anyway, we're burning our Dynamax turn one as my opponent is also going to die. You do not see a Dynamax scissor every day. There's a couple of reasons why you don't. One, because you lose Technician. I mean, you don't lose it, but all your moves become higher than what Technician will boost it to. So I don't really understand what's going on here. Anyway, you guys want to see Gothitelle disappear? Oh, he went for the fake out first turn? Yeah, helping hands OP. <laughs> he was trying to fake out to follow me. Guess what we didn't do? Follow me. That's nice because we do not have life orb. They're gonna see that we don't have life orb here actually. I hope we get the break chapel berry off today. I, I was, we do. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Look at how little damage it's gonna do. It's a non stab base 95 fighting move. That's nothing. He did raise his, his his thing, though. He rose his attack. It's going to be a little bit irritating. But here's what we could do. We could keep following until we get the Arcanine in here. Until he eventually KOs the Clefable. And we just keep taking out his side mons. Toxtricity? Easy Oko. Easy Oko. So let's follow... Nope. Not helping hand. Let's follow me. Just to redirect any incoming fighting moves. And I also just want Clefable to go down. Sorry, Clefable. You're kind of fodder. I feel like... <laughs> is it just me or am I treating this Clefable like absolute garbage in these two games? It's doing great. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But it's literally fodder. Can Scissor even... Actually, Scissor at plus one would probably outco my, uh... Michael Fable. Overdrive... Oh, Choice Scarf. Okay, that's good to know. At least you're not Focus Ash, so goodbye. Toodaloo, who needs Life Orb? Nobody. Nobody needs Life Orb, guys. Use Chapel Berry. With your P2, PZs. Counter the thing I told you to use last week, which was Urshifu with Choice Band. Counter it right now. Anyway, thankfully Clefable does go down. The Scizor is now at negative two. It has no priority. So a Heat Wave is pretty devastating on the Scizor right now. So let's go in with our Arcanine, get the Intimidate drop, bring it back down to neutral as you bring in the Inteleon. That's the last huggle one you wanted to see, folks. That's the last one I wanted to see, personally. Um, I am happy we get the Intimidate off, but I'm not happy because 
He has an option to take out my P t PC. Actually, I, I don't think he can take out the PC. I'm going to protect. I'm just going to protect, and I'm going to strike. And I think that'll be enough to get him down to lower than Arcanine next turn. Which is all I need him to be. I need him to be a lower base speed than Arcanine. Snipe shot into Arcanine. Yep. Okay, cool. Simple plays, simple turns. Sometimes a simple move is the best move. Going to go for the mass strike onto the Intellion. Knock out the Intellion. No focus sash in sight. I wonder what Pokemon he has it on. If he even has it on a Pokemon. I mean, everything on your team was frail. I hope you have a focus sash somewhere. Followed by the Max Knuckle. This will not be enough to take him out. Never mind. I take it all back. It was enough. He's not plus one. But we kind of have the, the advantage. Um, not with the Primarina, though. Right? I mean, Primarina does not want to take a plus one bullet punch too much. And I and we actually have a handful of options. Because I didn't touch the scissor all, all game. I have no idea what his item is. I haven't been able to figure it out. It could be a lot of things. It could be Choice Band. It could be Life Or. Uh, it can't be Life Or because I would have seen the damage. It could be Choice Band. It could be Okaberry, even. It could be Lumberry. I don't know if Will-O-Wisp or Heat Wave is the better play. I think just a Heat Wave. Just a Heat Wave and just a Hydro Cannon. <laughs> I want it O-Code. It could also be a Salt Vest. Bullet Punch is probably onto the... What? Honestly, you probably could have KO'd the Prim. But anyway, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Heat Wave is more than enough. There was no Alcabar in sight. Also, no Assault Vest, most likely, because that was just a straight Oko from, like, a hardly invested Arcanine. I think I actually have zero investment on that Arcanine. Anyway, double victory in today's episode. We got some really good showcases. We got to showcase the Trick Room side as long as the, I guess, fast mode on this team, which is really nice. Uh, remember to answer the common question of the day, because I'm super curious about it. The, uh, the whole... What do you think about the qualifiers being Series 5 instead of Series 6? That, that, like, that news is still so baffling to me. And I might be, I'm leaning towards the step in the wrong direction side because I'm actually a proponent of Series 6. I, I, I don't mind it too much. I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of it. And I feel like, you know, I spent a lot of time team building and it's all going to be, I, I mean, I guess it's not all gone to waste because Series 6 is still going to be here on, on BS dubs. <laughs> BS dubs battle stadium doubles BS dubs. It's still gonna be here on battle stadium doubles for you know Perpetually another month, so it's not really going away. It's not wasted time. It's just for the players cup. I I, I want to get in again. I got in the players cup last time. I made the 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 top 256 in the US. I Want to do it again, so I'm probably gonna have to play some series 5. I won't play here on the channel I'll probably just do a lot of showdown practice because you can't really uh, practice on a cartridge unless you have a lot of friends which I don't but anyway here's a rental code if you haven't already checked it out it is a very fun team i hope you guys do have a fun time playing with it and thank you so much mr nelio for requesting delmize and giving you all the opportunity to play as well with this rental code i'm kevin this is pokey sports hope you enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do have a great night peace out